Welcome to the Design It 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working in the Design It Graphics Studio section of the program. I have a cute picture of a cat on a fence that I have gotten permission to use to create a knit sweater front. The very first thing we want to do before we convert is we want to find out some information about the sweater that we're going to put it on so that we convert it to the correct size. I'm going to say file thumbnails and in my shapes I have a subdirectory called tutorials and I have a tunic. Let's go way down to the bottom. This is a tunic for me long length over my hip and the tension is 8 stitches and 11 rows per inch. If I go up under view piece sizes it says the front is 166 stitches wide 308 rows high. This is the big number that we need. Okay so now we're going to go right into Designing it, Graphics Studio, and we're going in with information. I'm going to open up a graphic, and this is our cat on the fence. Zoom, fit to height, so you can see the whole thing. Now, we have quite a lot going on here. The very first thing we're going to do is under our grid settings. We're going to say that we want 8 stitches and 11 rows. We want it to be 166 stitches. And for this, that means it's 213 rows. Because we're doing jacquard, which requires an even number of rows, I have changed this from 213 to 214. OK. And so here's our grid. The second thing is to go up here and choose some yarn colors. And let's say none for now. And you can say, let's turn this grid off so it's not so busy. You can say auto and let's see what comes up. And we're going to be doing four colors per row. Let's say you can have a maximum of six colors total. And it's figured out for us colors that it would suggest. And it's actually quite good. I might want this color to be this color instead. And I'm going to turn this color off. See how that made that change? The other thing is I can use large eyedroppers to pick up colors. Here I'm going to pick up the, the gray and drop it in here. I wanted the lighter of the gray. Let's see if we can grab that easily. There. The small eyedropper lets you pick up other colors and we're going to pick up this green and put it right in the exact same box for the color and it only puts it on the left hand side when it converts this green will be converted to white automatically so we don't need this color let's see what that looks like look how fast we're making these changes we can also take this color and say this is the color that we want and change this color. We also want this color here, dark, and let's put that. That's already in the palette. That's okay. And now let's see how we're doing. See, we're getting very, very close. There's some modeling in here I'd like to change. And we can do that by using the tidy image. And I'm going to use my left mouse button to pick up this gray. 
and this orangey in here and my right mouse button color to pick up this. So now all of these colors will be converted to here. I'm going to say it's okay to include in between colors. I'm going to pick up the eraser and I'm just going to erase. And I can go way out here and it's not going to make any changes because that's not in this list of colors to be changed. So you can really clean up very quickly without having to mess up the rest of the... See, look, I'm going right over here and it's skip this. Now, this is a problem. I'm going to say undo and it's because it's picked up some of these colors this one, I think, I'm going to click on it to get rid of it because it's too close to this. And so let's try that again. And it's okay now. So I'm going to pick up all these colors, but I didn't want to pick up the black. And now I'm going to pick up the pencil and I'm just going to very quietly draw around here and get rid of this one. And there you go. And I probably want to pick up this color here and pick up the pencil and there you go, done. This part right here was this problem. Let's go undo that because that color we did not want to change. So we've cleaned that up. We could also clear pink, right mouse button color, left mouse button color is this grayish pick up the eraser and look at I can swoop I don't even have to be neat about this it just cleans it right up and skips all these other colors that we didn't want to deal with and I could even pick up this color here and the pencil and very carefully clean this up without cleaning up this part right here so Let's just say we're 90% there. And let's say preview this. And now this is what it would come up converted. And look at here, this looks close enough. So let's say, okay. And I'm going to save these settings. I, I'm not going to save the image and overwrite the original now. Fair Isle, we're going to switch it to four color per row jacquard. We are going to be using the color changer and I'm going to be knitting this on a KH970. Okay. It's telling you there are 71 jacquard errors and we can fix those. Over here, this check mark, check the pattern for errors, jacquard. Okay, it's saying there's 71 errors correct automatically. Yes, and there you go, and it's been corrected. Now, I'd like to do a couple things. Palette, yarn color, we can say pack, and it'll kind of neaten it up. And then this one here, let's make this a blue. That's more purple. A nice blue apply this color okay and our paint bucket and let's pour it in here let's pick up the background color and now I have a sky color and you can just neaten this up a little bit and I have one that I have neatened up and I'll bring that up and it's under here in my tutorial shapes in, sorry, in stitch pattern tutorials, and it's right here. And so I've changed this white to a greenish gray. I've added some alphabet Z's to make it look like he was sleeping. I've neatened up a little bit of the outline. If I go under my shape, view the piece, because we converted it to the width of the front, it should be okay. 
and it's converting it. It's making automatically making enough repeats to cover the entire front. But this is a problem because I don't want the second repeat up here. I actually want just this repeat. So I'm going to say File, New Pattern Setup. I'm not going to save this. I'm going to say, give me a piece of fabric big enough for the front. OK. And then I'm going to say here, Edit, Import a Single Motif. And it's a really big single motif. But I only want one repeat. And let's put it down here. This is what it would look like cut out. And so we're going to have to add a little bit of stuff in here to fill it in. And we can pick up this blue and put blue here. And I'm going to have to pick up a brush. And if you don't know what the color is, click on this eyedropper and here, and it will automatically make it the left mouse button color. And then pick up the brush. And let's make a little bit more fence here. And I'll fix that up a little bit. But you get the idea of exactly what it's going to look like uh, done. Let's cut this out again. And there you go. Instant sweater. And you're all set. Thank you.